the element and this is our marine life bringing you news and information and an insight into the costa almeria and brought to you by remix police and the experts in property sales in on the costa almeria in our little corner of of andalusia and today i've come to garucha beautiful garucha and obviously gorgeous autumn day and we have a distinctly nautical theme to the interview I'm here with Ian Roriston, and I hope I've pronounced your surname correctly, who is the president, chairman of the president, president of the Santirene Club Develop, the Santirene Sailing Club. And Ian's going to tell me all about how we can get out and about on the sea and enjoy life on boats here in our corner of Spain. So, so Ian, tell me, is this, is this a good area for sailing? It is. It's um, a little bit devoid of little coves and things to go into, so you've got quite a long way to sail. But the wind is pretty constant, uh, and uh, the Mediterranean will be fine. I think it's very easy, but actually it's quite tricky because of the changing uh, wind conditions. So you need to exercise some caution. Right, well that's one of the reasons for joining joining a sailing club, of course. Exactly. Because, well, the Centre Rainy Club, it was set up by John Paddock's wasn't it? Yes. About 12 years ago, if yep, I remember. Yeah, 2002. Remembered. June 2002. Right. And, and with the aim of really encouraging people to take up sailing, is that right? Yes. Fun? Yes. Ideally, what they wanted is uh, John Streams to attract uh, the youth to the club. Unfortunately, it isn't quite how it's gone. <laughs> it seems to be at the other end of the scale. But we're still trying. So who, who are the club members? Uh, predominantly, they're um, retired British people or people who um, are still working but living uh, or have property in the area and want to sail. And, uh, and we have a few Spanish people. This is gradually growing, but it's, it's slow work. Yeah. Um, but it is working and, uh, and the club has grown enormously since I, I came in, um, I think I'm in my third year of tenure here, and we've gone from about 36 people to well over 50. Oh right, so I mean that's so a good, good sized membership. And are the members predominantly experienced sailors, novices or, or a mix? Real mix, mm -hmm. a real mix. Um, some have uh, got uh, ocean experience wow. and, uh, yeah, and uh, been fortunate enough to uh, to get that under their belt in large cruises. Uh, and others have been purely dinghy people. And some of our most uh, recent members really have had no experience whatsoever. But we're not a training school. Right. We will help you, uh, but we do like you to try it go out and uh, go go through a course in the first place. Right, so a definite recommendation. So novice is yeah. welcome, but this isn't yeah, a training school. Of course. So what kind of boats do, does the club have? Because you do have your own boats, don't you? Well, the club, uh, um, yes, the club uh, only owns one boat. Right. Now. One we don't talk about, oh. though we're, we are in the process of selling. <laughs> but it's actually a very, very speedy machine, an Osprey. And... Um, it, it is a tricky machine to, to sail, but the the club boat is um, a wayfarer which um, tends to s stay upright most of the time. <laughs> That's always handy, yeah. Uh, ideal for training, uh -huh. and in fact it is quite a, a quick boat around the cans as well, so it's not a slouch. And we're looking at the moment to buy another, uh, because um, uh, with our recent new membership, we have something like 17 members who don't have boats. So that's quite a lot of uh, people to cater for with just one boat. And what is it, so people who are experienced agents and have their own boats, what's the advantage, what's the advantages for them of joining the club? Okay, so that is a good one actually, because uh, boating in Spain actually is very cheap. You got them? And the um, cost of the slipway uh, over the other side there is uh, 90 euros a year. And they also tend only to allow you to launch during the weekend. Now the club has got a blanket anytime launch uh, facility. So we can keep our boats in the recinto, Spanish boat park, uh -huh. and uh, for a very reduced amount. Um, and 
our, our members can launch at any time. Right, and we should specify that, of course, we are here at the Garucha Marina, the new marina, and that the club has a dedicated area as well, isn't it, Recinto, as you say, for, yes. for keeping... Yes, so we'll yeah, that. recently yeah. acquired, actually. Yeah. Recently uh, acquired, with the help and the good auspices, actually, of the board authorities, right. who are giving us a reasonable amount of support. Well, I should hope so, too. <laughs> so, obviously, there is... Uh, scope for new members, you would like to, to see yeah. some new members, so if people are interested, whether they are never sailed before even, yep. yeah, they can come Got along. Quite a few of those, yes. How do they go about getting in contact, or how can they find out more about the club? Okay, our website is probably the best source of information, mm -hmm. and that is uh, just plug into Google Santa Irene Club de Vela, uh, and um, as long as it comes up with that website address, you'll have the right uh, place to go. Uh, there is another website on there, which is an old one, uh, which is now defunct. And if you see Sail Away, it's incorrect. Right, okay, so look for the correct one. The correct, correct one. one. Right. And on there is all the information, where we, where we meet, how to get in contact, you can fill in details online, and they will come through to me, and I'll respond to you. And then, of course, the club meets here in Garucha at the marina every, every Sunday Every Sunday. Right. And on a Friday if you're lucky. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> so. um, uh, as our numbers swell, which they always do during the, the autumn and the winter yes. and the early spring, um, uh, our activities increase. So okay. very often there's Friday sailing. But for sure, Sunday sailing, 10.30 in the recinto at the boat park, you'll see people putting sails up, there's a banner there, you can find it. Uh, and otherwise, in our ado adopted clubhouse, which is La Arfazina, uh, where you um, will find us. Look for the yellow shirts. Right, so it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard to find. No. And of course I should say that sailing aside, which obviously is the main reason for the club, it's a very social club, isn't it? I know that you have quite a nice... Very much so. ...a lot of social activity. <clears throat> yeah, we've got a great club. There's a, a mix of people, but um, there's rarely a falling out or a crossword. <laughs> um, it wasn't always the same, but we went to work that out. Yes. out. you, yes. <laughs> but at the moment, we really have got a very, very nice atmosphere about the club. And we have social things. We try and do one once a quarter, where everybody gets together. Um, perhaps there's a topic, perhaps there's no reason at all other than just get together and yeah, have a Yeah, well, the hay, yes, yes. Yep. Lovely, and I mean, well, what can we say? Look at this. This is this is nearly November, and uh, I'm too warm. Oh, fantastic weather for for sailing, for getting out and about on boats, and yeah. for really making the most of our fantastic coastline. That's so, exactly it. What more can we say? Get in contact with the Santerini Club de Vela. Ian, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Lovely Kathy. to, Thanks to for meet your time. on such a lovely day, and uh, I do hope that we can attract some more members for you. Brilliant. Okay, Thank you then. very much. You're quite welcome.